<clears throat> bro, do not be mad at me for the topic of this. You know, when is a man supposed to, supposed to submit to a daggone woman? But there is a there is a time when a man is supposed to submit to a woman, and um, yeah, well, yeah, of course she's gonna agree. But there is a time, you know, we went through premarital with our pastor, Pastor Matthew K. Thompson. And he, yeah, he went and talked to us about, you know, um, about the fact that we are to submit one to another as husband and wife. And so when he talked to us, about, I was like, okay, that's cool, bro. That's cool. But when you want to get to the part where it talks about the man is the head, you know, I'm the boss, I'm the man. You know, when are you going to get to that? And he never got to it. <laughs> he, he, he never got to it. I was like, say, bro, you need to be balanced on the word of God. It says this. You know, I didn't tell him that nothing. And it was a great teaching what we got. But the thing was, the, the topic today is when is a man supposed to submit to a woman? Now, I want to tell y'all what happened this morning. We went to prayer this morning. And one of my brothers, this brother, he, he, he probably going to watch this. This brother's single, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm a man, you know, that's my boy, right? And we walk up and we, we, he was talking about something to us as a general. And it's a topic that my wife loves. As a matter of fact, it's her topic. She's in college for that, for the topic of marketing. And so she told me to shut up. She said, shut up. And kept talking like, she, 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 she going, I was like, hold up. Did she just tell me to shut up in front of my boy? You know, and um, I was a little hurt. I was a lot hurt. I walked in church and I start, you know, we start praying and everything. And and I was in my feelings. I was way in my feelings. It wasn't for Kiki. It was <laughs> <laughs> Kim Kim. It was for Kim Kim. I was way in my feelings. And then I thought, well, I'm here to worship the Lord. And here I am thinking about myself. How selfish am I? And so I had to get out of my feelings about the fact that she told me to shut up so she can keep the conversation going on. And um, as I did that, I began to worship the Lord. I was really tired. And then, you know, we're going through and then and then a brother approached me and was talking to me. And then my wife going to come get into that conversation. She's going to step into the conversation with, with us, you know, but it was perfect for her to step into that conversation. So the question is, when should a man submit to a woman when your woman is in the zone, when the anointing of God has fallen on her, you need to submit. When your woman is making you some money, you should submit. When your woman is introducing you to somebody who can get your life higher, you should submit. When she's smarter than you, when. <laughs> Not if, when. Oh, I think the when as if. <laughs> you don't take it like that. I think the when is if there are times, not all the time, when she's smarter than you, that's a time for you to submit. Submission is not a bad thing, even for a man. It's not a bad thing. It's actually saying, it's actually, you could really say it more like it's preferring or it's taking a, 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 a fellowship role. And what I've found is in our marriage that there are times where I'm, I'm definitely following, who wouldn't follow a smart, beautiful um, um, woman like Kim? Who wouldn't? So there's times where I am definitely following. I'm still the man, you know what I'm saying? I'm still, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I ain't make sure of that. I'm still the man. I know God has given me, but, but the thing is, like I was telling a, 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 a young man earlier, who in the world wants to be in charge all the time? I don't want to be in charge all the time. Well, I want to sit back. Let you handle it. You deal with them problems. You deal, is that how you feel about it? You know I mean, is it times when you want to let me, you want to handle it? Yes. Yes. There are times when I want to handle it. Um, there are times when, you know, my experience or my know-how equip me to handle it. Mm -hmm. And likewise. Mm -hmm. So I think that, you know, anyone... Who doesn't see that someone has an expertise in an area that they know that they don't have the expertise in and is not willing to defer to that person's expertise in that area mm -hmm. um, is that's not wise. Right. So our last video was how to live with a strong black woman. This would be that strong black woman. Right. Kim. A. Houston Lucas. <laughs> she kept it. Anyway. Um, so that was a, and this one is when to submit to when a man should submit to a woman. Um, in general, I don't think, I think that the man is the head, but what I call headship is a little different than what maybe my dad or some men in his generation that you still carried on and women have carried on into this generation where you think submission means that you under the man's thumb. That's, that's, that's old school. That's broke. That's like, you ain't got no money. You ain't going to have no money. You ain't going to be nobody. 
Because you are really ignorant if you think you're going to have an educated, smart, powerful woman and you're going to put her under your thumb. And she's stupid and ignorant if she let the man do it to her. Are you joking? And why in the world would I want to put, hold down a stallion that's about to make us some money? Uh, I keep talking about money. I'm sorry, I'm about, money to about to bless our life. About to bring you some favor. Right, about to bring you some favor. I mean, there are so many great people that I've been introduced to by my wife. Um, there's so much. And, and I know when I walk in the room, I mean, the whole room light up. It ain't because of me. It's because of who I walk in. We remember when we walked into the grocery store. We walked to the grocery store. There's this real young dude. He was looking, and he was like, "How in the world yeah. is he?" It looks her? Been killed. Yeah, I was like, "Say, bro." And then I said, "You don't want to pay the price." You know, and I, I was I was telling her. I said, "He don't want to pay the price." And she said, "What do you mean the price?" I said, "He don't want to pay the price of, of of being the kind of uh, being the kind of the kind of man who can follow at the at the appropriate time." He don't want to pay the price of coming up to the level educationally. He don't want to pay the price of being a good father, you know, to her children. And so I count it a value. I count her children as my children because I want her. Like her daughter said, the only reason he cared about us is, is because of her. I said, heck yeah. Why don't you think I was going to have y'all come to my house if it wasn't for her? I get her. I get her and y'all. I'll take y'all. Y'all come on <laughs> because I want her. You know what I mean? And so um, I think that, like I said before about Henry Ford, you know, Henry Ford, they came to Henry Ford. They asked him a lot of questions. They said, you know, can you do this? Can you do that? Do you know this? Do you know that? And they said, no, I don't know any of that. And then they, they're like, well, why do you get to lead? Why do you get to lead this group? Why do you think that you should have this company and your investors shouldn't have a say? He said, because I hire the people that know the answer to all your questions. What's your, what's your, what's, what, what, what do you want to know? And so you ask me, well, Darren, do you know the answer to this? Hold on a second. Hey, Kim, can you answer him for him? Because my wife is super smart. You know what I mean? And, and I'm smart in my own ways. But the thing is, when you learn, you can't be a good head if you're not a good follower. And, and the thing is, there are times when you're leading an organization, uh, when you're leading a church, when you're leading a family, that you understand that you're going to have to have someone in your organization that is more skilled, smarter than you. And when they get into the zone, when they get into their area, you have to be smart enough to back down and let them lead in that area. And that don't just mean in the kitchen. I mean, a woman got more sense than just the kitchen. Now, Kim can cook and the kitchen is good, but she got more sense than just the kitchen. It don't mean just she by your side, walk in church, look good, like when we walk to the grocery store, look good. That's, that's not all. The, the woman is smart. The woman is intelligent. The woman has wisdom. She has discernment. She has insight. So many times she discerns and no, nah, we don't need to deal with that person right there because of things that she sees and discerns, right? Yeah. And so um, as we talk about submission, we talk about submission and, and, and headship and leadership in a different manner. We do talk about walking side by side. You know, we do talk about walking in a direction. Uh, we're going the same direction. And so she's seeing things and I'm seeing things. And she said, no, not this, not that. Because we're part, because we're partners. We're together. You we're unified together, making it happen. You know what I'm saying? But um, um so, so so we talk like that. But as the head, me as the head, it means really I am first to die. I am first to lay down my life. Um, tell the example of what you talked about, about the farming culture that Jimmy Evans was talking about. Oh, um, Jimmy Evans from Marriage Today talks about the fact that the term husband is actually an agricultural term. And it talks about the relationship that farmers have with their crop and the responsibility to cultivate and to nurture their fields. And so he was saying that husbands have that same responsibility to cultivate and nurture their wives and make sure that they grow into the fullness of what God has created them to do and be. Wow. So that means if you're going to be the head, that means you're going to have to nurture this woman. You got to know her. The biggest thing, and I'm going to let, leave you guys with this. The biggest thing that I got was that in order to really be the head, you have to know how to intercede for your wife. Now, real quick, real quick scripture. The word intercession in the Bible, the, the Bible never tells you to intercede because that's, that's an action, but it's not really an action. It always uses a noun word called intercession. So whenever you read it, it says to make intercession. Really what it's saying is to make a case as a lawyer before the Lord. 
And so in order for me to make a case before God for Kim, I have to be touched with the feelings of her infirmities. I have to be touched with the things that hurt her and pains her. And because it says to love Christ, as to, to, to love our wives as Christ loves the church, the primary thing that Christ is doing for us is interceding for us. So I need to know how to pray for my wife. Like she's in school now, so I'm praying for her school and that she passes her classes, that she's able to get the information and, and get everything she wants. That is, so you have to be touched. In order to be touched, I have to be able to listen to her with my eyes. And sometimes my eyes are like this because she's talking. And I'm like, uh, okay, what'd you say, baby? Well, you, know, you know, sometimes. But really, I'm trying to open my eyes and listen with my eyes and understand her as a woman, understand her feelings. Because I really don't get it. I don't get why, you know, you calling me and all that. It's, it's, it's not a big deal. But I have to break myself down listen to her, and then when I go before God, I'm really able to intercede and believe him for her, even in the things that are difficult, because we have a difference. Kim like to spend money. I don't. Well, I do, but not like she do. She like to spend money on food. I don't like to spend money on food. She like to go out and go to great places to eat. I do every once in a while she do every day. That's not true. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not yeah. true. My daughter I, I believe in living a good having a good quality of life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And I love my husband, but sometimes he likes to cut. We went corners. to get pancakes today, but she didn't give you your cake. Is that on the receipt? It's on the receipt. We bought pancakes, eggs, bacon, turkey bacon, all the stuff for this girl. And she got a piece of cake. Oh wait, she need a piece of cake for you. Got your pancakes right there. She ate, she, you didn't get your cake. You didn't get your cake. I paid for the seat. Paid for the, the receipt. I don't think she Paid for the cake. cake. <laughs> I don't it, think she charged it for the cake. cake. <laughs> Bottom line is we're different. And sometimes we come into this, this, it, it, we're supposed to be coming together like this. Sometimes we come together like that. And the thing is, when you come together like that, you got to let that hand up and cover that woman. You know what I'm saying? You can't go like that. You got to open, oh, open that hand and cover her. And you got to learn about her. You got to pray for her. Even when she's wrong. I mean, <laughs> even when she's wrong. Anyway, bottom line is, when should a man submit to a woman? He should submit when she's in the zone, when she knows better than you. She knows how to handle the money better than you. Let her handle the money. Submit. Let her handle the money better. And don't take it back. Oh. <laughs> don't defer it to her and then take it back. That was a step. Okay. When you release it to her, when you trust her with it, leave her with it. Because that's how God will bless you. Y'all pray for us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that that's that's one thing. When when she's in the zone, when she's she's in a place where where she is, where she has the better skills, she has the better knowledge. Like this morning, so this morning to finish the story, she was in the zone. And when she prayed for that man, I mean, I wanted to be the man to pray, but I wasn't even feeling it. What he needed and what his what he needed prayer for, she was very passionate about. She was very anointed for it. Um, and she prayed, and I was able to support and back her up in that moment because that was her moment. So I understood that after that, that she was in the zone. And when she gets focused, she gets kind of like that bossy focus, like, move out the way, man. And she don't want to say, man, she might want to use the N word. She don't use the N word, y'all. <laughs> move out the way, man. Because she in her zone. And you don't want to back that woman off because she's going to get your money or your blessing or whatever she's going to get. So when she's in the zone, bro, let her be in the zone. Let her do her thing and let her bring you a blessing. Okay, let her bring you because she's she going to bring it into the house. And then everything else is going to be better. Everything else <laughs> is going to be better. Trust me, bro. You think you the one make it good? You don't make it good. You make it good on the other side when you when you humble and when you sweet. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Everything else is better. <laughs> Because you were a sweetheart and you're humble and you knew how to take care of your woman. So anyway, when should a, should a man ever submit to a woman? Yes, he should. The Bible says submit one to another. Is the, are you still the head? Because you submit, you still the head. You just have a smart person on your team that's working with you and they're leading it out at times. Let them lead it out. Okay? All right. We'll catch y'all up next time. I think y'all want to hear the next topic. I think, what was the next topic? We're going to catch y'all up next time. The next topic, baby, you're going to have to do it one day, is um, how to get your woman to call you Big Daddy.